Hi, my name is Kat. I'm a California CPA and in this video I'll show you how to enter Schedule E, Rental Income and Expenses in LACERT. Hope that would be helpful for you. All right, so let's start. So Schedule E, Rental Income. So we go under Section 18, Rental Income. And we start with a description of the property, which can be any descriptions we want. So let's do Rental 1. Here we can enter address and I think it's not mandatory, but it's, uh, oh, maybe that is, let's see uh, if we enter it. I think it actually is mandatory. City, state. And here you go. Here's, an, we need, we do need to enter type of the property if it's um, single family residence or anything else. And days rented, I think those those are not mandatory, but it is uh, nice to enter it so it can calculate certain things for us. Like let's say if it can be um, for any reason, like let's say if they rented for less than 14 days, it might not be included in the rental income. So I think LACERT calculates that for us. And here we enter general information. If you follow 1099s, if you actively and not actively participated, things like that. Here's a rental income expenses we enter right here. Uh, direct and indirect expenses. Indirect expenses column should be only used for vacation homes or less than 100% direct. Uh, I see. So if they use it partially as uh, their vacation home, it should be entered here under indirect. But most of the times clients just using it as a vacation, uh, I'm sorry, it's a rental uh, property most of the year. So that's where we enter information. Uh, everything we need. So um, let's see what is interesting here. So yeah, so that's where we enter the, the, the depreciation comes from different parts. Here's a prior year unallowed losses that we do need to enter if they're not entered here. And for depreciation, the only thing I would like to show you is that's where we have to enter depreciation. So let's say schedule E rental, we add the property. So let's do building. And it's populated the form for us, but we can always change it. So it's Schedule E activity name. We can change it to any of the rental properties we have. Categories. So this one is building date, place of service, whichever date it is. Well, maybe this year. Cost basis if you want to depreciate it. And we just enter whatever we need to enter here. Um, so I need to find it like, let's say, if it's a building, it will be 20, uh, 27 and a half years. Prior depreciation, if you need to enter. So that should um, flow to our Schedule E. So if you take a look here, here's our rental income. Here's our property. So yes, the address, of course, is required, my bad. And um, yeah, so here you go. Rent, income, expenses, and eventually it will potentially disallowed some passive losses if you have any and carry over to the next year or when the property is sold. Well, hope that was helpful. And just one thing, if the property is sold, we do go to a depreciation schedule and here we have general disposition information where we enter a date sold, everything right here, any expenses related to sale. Uh, sales price and it will add back to depreciation what that was uh, that was taken before so that is super helpful too well i uh, hope that was helpful thank you and have a good day bye i hope you found my video helpful uh if you want to learn more about me and what i do please go to my website remotecpainla.com and please subscribe to my channel it means still a lot to me when people comment or subscribe to my channel. That makes me want to continue and record more videos. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.